Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Auto 5 Mods video. Today we're going to be doing the Firefighter Mod using the new Polito Bay Skin Pack by Skinworks. We used this the other day as well. Uh, if you guys missed that, definitely go back and check it out. But anyway guys, we're going to be running TAC Rescue 1 today. It is pouring down rain in here in the city, so I'm thinking we may end up responding to some, you know, maybe some accidents or some people that drove off the road or whatever. So. We're going to have the TAC Rescue out and ready to go. Uh, we also do have Engine 1 as well as Truck 1 which is like a mini pumper and the Battalion Chief all ready to roll. So right now guys, I am soaking wet. I'm going to head inside the firehouse and let's see what happens today. I really do hope you guys enjoy this episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get started. All right, looks like we have a call right around the corner. Multiple vehicle collision with pen victims. All right, let's go. <gasps> oh my goodness. Get to work and start treating everybody. Just gonna close off this road first for traffic. All right, so we're gonna use our saw here to try to extricate some of the victims. Now we don't have a uh, like Jaws of Life, so we kind of have to use this. Oh shoot, wrong door. And we also got to stabilize this car in top, so we don't want this thing sliding off. So we got another patient in this one. Let's go ahead and cut this door open. And the person who was in that car looked like they got ejected. So I'm going to try to treat all these people and then we're going to try to get EMS out here for them. Alright, that should be good for now. We'll put this away. Oh, wrong button. Was able to grab them out. I guess I don't have close to callouts running right now, so I'm gonna let EMS take them out and then try to stabilize them. Alright, so let's just wait around and let EMS do their thing here. We're gonna hope that everybody makes it. Oh, this car here is sliding. Start working on this person first. Alright, looks like he's up. I gotta change that prop. <laughs> it's supposed to be a stretcher, not a mechanic bed thing. Or a lift. I'm on it. 
Oh, now they take out. That's weird. I was trying this the whole time. Oh, well, actually, no, they probably did it. Alright, I'm gonna stabilize this with a Because I don't want this falling. Alright, yeah, she's okay. Good, good, good. We're two for three. Alright, hopefully our last person over here is gonna be okay as well. And I wonder how this accident happened. I mean, this is a pretty small block. They shouldn't really be going too fast. It's like a three-way accident here. Let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think happened? Maybe somebody was coming out of an alleyway or one of these parking lots or something like that. And maybe they didn't look. I don't know. Maybe someone cut somebody off. Alright, last person. Let's see if we can rescue her too. Yes, we are three for three Jesus today, guys. Christ. Awesome. All right, so once EMS gets out of here, I guess we'll uh, get some tow trucks to clear the road, and then we'll be on our way. I love how that I made the engine come here, and they didn't even come out. They just sitting in there like, ah, it's raining. We ain't coming out. <laughs> Code four, I'm gonna get some tow trucks out here. Oh, Alright, one of the cars disappeared. Where did it go? That's weird. Alright, let's unfreeze. Oh, it unfroze itself. Okay. Okay, okay, here's our tow truck. I gotta add the ace towing guys back in. Alright, so we're gonna be back in service. Let's head back to the firehouse. Alright guys, looks like we're getting a report of a industrial accident rescue squad is needed. Let's go to respond to that. I'm thinking this is going to be inside of the Clark and Bell, or maybe it's behind the Clark and Bell. It looks like it's behind it actually, let me go around and check. on these train tracks back here. Holy crap! That was close. Oh my god. I don't know. I just blacked out for a second. I did not see or hear the train. Okay, yeah, so I think they're actually going to be on the inside. Let me make sure we park this thing not on tracks. We don't have any accidents. Alright, guys, so... Alright, so engine just called and contacted us. They said the patient is actually in the front. 
So let's go ahead and get back over there. I'm actually happy he's outside because I forgot to reinstall um, open interior. So if he was inside, I wouldn't even be able to get in there right now. So that worked out. All right, now where are they? Oh, here they go. Okay, so now we are on scene. What the heck is this? I speak with the caller by pressing Y. I didn't say. What do we have here? Quick, my friend is in trouble. Please help him. All right, calm down. We're going to do everything we can to help him out. All right, they didn't give us any information. Oh, my God. What the heck is this, guys? Oh, boy. He got a tree and four metal pipes, five metal pipes through him. Oh my god. I don't know why, but that kind of gives me the chills. Like, anybody get a little, like, chills running through them right there looking at this? It's kind of weird. Alright, um, I'm gonna get some lights. Let's see if we can put these lights out. That's so that we can kind of see what we're doing. It's very dark, and we do have the lights from the truck, but... We'll make sure we have as much lights on this guy as possible so we can see what we are doing here. Oh, and of course I put it the wrong way. There we go. Oh boy, this is, this looks really bad, guys. Alright, now... That's enough of that. He honestly didn't need to do this, but it just looks really cool, and I wanted to show it to you guys. So we'll uh, put this away now. Oops. All right, we're gonna bring out our saw again, guys, and we're gonna see if we could carefully cut this guy out of this situation that he's in here. I feel so bad for him, but yeah, let's see if we can help him. I'm gonna start with cutting this giant log here. Alright, that's done. And you know what, actually? I forgot an important step. I was supposed to stabilize them first, so let's put this down for a second. Okay, so we're just going to try to stabilize his neck and his head. This back, keep his spine nice and straight, and then now we can go ahead and continue to start cutting. Oh, okay. That kind of just pushed them out, but we're going to slow the roleplay cutting all of this stuff. I think I forgot to mention it earlier today too, but we are on the uh, beta version of Fire Callouts. So we do have a couple of extra features that is not in the regular version. If you guys would like to check out the regular version, it is on lspdfr.com. And the beta version you can get access to by checking out Panos' um, Patreon page. That's how we have this version here. Alright, let's put that away and let's see if we can treat him. We also have the medical back too. We never tried that. Let's actually try that out and see how this works. So we got our medical bag. Okay, we're gonna press E to drop it. And open and treat. Let's do an injury assessment on him.
All right, he has a broken arm, severe pain. First thing to do is to splint and point uh, painkillers, okay? So we're gonna splint his arm. And now we're gonna try again those painkillers. This is really cool, I actually never tried this before. All right, let's check his vitals now. Airway is blocked. Oh boy, we need to incubate him. This is really cool. All of his stuff we're able to do now. Alright, he's now stable for transport. Let's just continue to monitor. Breathing is normal. Pulse is strong. Alright, so at this point we just need EMS to come get him. On, um, Great Ocean Highway. Okay, so it looks like he's gonna make it. That was pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, looks like EMS is pulling up now for us, so they're gonna transport him to Sandy Sh I'm not Sandy's Polito Bay Medical Center. From there, he should be able to get the rest of the treatment that he needs. Set for a pulse. All right, so they're gonna kind of do their thing just because they don't know that I've done everything. So. And it's two different mods here, so they're gonna do their stuff, and then hopefully, yep, he's good, perfect. No fucking way! And now they're gonna transport him. And now the game is gonna crash. Ay yay yay. All right, guys. Well, that is how this one's gonna end. Sorry about the crash. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And also, guys, I'm gonna have my new merchandise. The new logo is gonna be dropping December 4th. That's gonna be the first Friday in December. So if you guys wanna get some new merch, definitely look out for that you can actually check out a preview on my website acepilot2k7.com also head over to my website if you want to see um, the mods that I'm using you want to know where to download the mods from you want to learn how to install mods I have free tutorials and mod lists to help you guys out with GTA 5 and mining and if you guys would like to become a supporter you can also check out my website and become an ascriber that will give you access to my behind the scenes videos and that will show you exactly how I um, set up these videos and like the different mods I use and some tips and tricks to help you make videos and cool role plays and I also have a first access section as well in that section you're able to see some exclusive videos that are only uploaded on my website so if you would like to check that out definitely check out my website again it is acepilot2k7.com but thank you guys so much for watching I really do hope you guys enjoyed let me know what do you guys want to see me do next um, we use the mini engine so far as a brush truck and now we use the technical rescue so should we do the engine next or do you guys want to see the chief let me know in the comment section but Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.